Hello there, everybody. Today, I'll be showing you how you can use NAT networking for multiple IP addresses. Let's get right into it. First, you have to log into your Azure virtual machine. Then, open command prompt and run ipconfig slash all. Now write down the DNS IP address. Once that's done, add all of your IP addresses you've made into the network interface, just like so. Now open up command prompt once again and run ipconfig slash all. You can see all of your IP addresses under the network interface. Now, open the Hyper-V Manager tool and click on Virtual Switch Manager. Now select Internal and click on Create Virtual Switch. Now name the switch NAT Network Switch and click on OK. Now assign an IP address to your V Ethernet, just like so. You can now make as many virtual machines as you'd like. They depend on your virtual machine's RAM and storage space, so they won't have any extra costs. Now, if you would like to use the port forwarding function as well, then continue watching this video. Log into your Azure virtual machine, and the dashboard page should pop up. Select Add Roles and Features. Now keep on clicking Next until you are at the Server Roles page. Once you're there, select Remote Access and keep on clicking Next until you're at the Confirmation page. Select Restart the Destination Server automatically if required and click on Install. After it's done, click on Close. Now select the Routing and Remote Access tool. Right-click and then select Configure and enable Routing and Remote Access. Once you're on the Setup Wizard, click Next. Now, select NAT and click on Next again. Select Ethernet 2 as the public interface and click on Next. Now, select Enable Basic Name and Address Services and click on Next again. Now, click Next again and Finish. Now expand IPv4 and select NAT. Right-click on Ethernet 2 and select Properties. Once you're there, select Address Pool and click Add. Now enter your IP address and mask. Then click on OK. Now go on Select Services and click Add. Now use the settings as followed. The description of the server shall be TCP 443-10.10.1.6. If your address pool ends at a larger number, then choose that instead. Now select on Address Pool Entry and type in 10.10.1.6. Again, if your address pool ends later, then type that instead. Now select TCP and the incoming port should be 443. The private IP address can be 192.168.100.99 and the outgoing port should be 443 as well. Now click on OK. You can also repeat the steps to create 
for reports 80 and 3389, just like what I'm doing right now. We will be using NSG, so disable the Windows firewall at your virtual machine, just like so. Now go back to the Azure Portal website and click on Virtual Machines. Now select your virtual machine and select Networking. Now click on Add Inbound Port Rule. Now change the destination port ranges to 443 and the protocol to TCP, and name it port underscore 443. Once you're done that, click on Add. Repeat these steps to add port 80, just like what I'm doing right now. Now, we can test the port forwarding function to see if it's working. First, make the virtual machine and assign the NAT network adapter to it. Once you're in your Hyper-V virtual machine, turn the firewall off and enable remote desktop. Then, go to your Ethernet and change the settings and make it look like this. Then, open up Run and type MSTSC and click on OK. Now you should be in this tab. Now type in the public IP address you are using onto the remote access tool and click on Connect. Now you are logged into your Hyper-V virtual machine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one.